We're over at Steve's and check out his Grimmy Chama. Look at all them fruits. Wow. It kind of like takes your breath away the way how dark red yeah. it is. And they get darker and sweeter as the, as the day goes on. So if you were to but pick them, you could let them sit inside for a little bit? No, they got to ripen in the sun. Okay. The problem is you don't pick them, you lose them because the birds will get them. So you have to pick them a little early. So, but today I've been I've been watching the tree and kind of haunting it. Like, stay away, stay away. Right. Come over he said the cardinals, are, right the cardinals are eating his uh, yeah. fruits. So, but these guys, I mean, you got to pick one, man. You got to try it. Let's go and do it. Try one with me? Yeah. So dark I red's better. Aren't, aren't. Wow, that one fell off in my hand. Mm -hmm. I pull the top out, looks like this. Take it, pull it out, and just pop it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a... What's that flavor you call it? A little citrusy. Yeah, it has a little <clears throat> citrusy, and then there's like... There's like a an aftertaste that's really good. It's not bad. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is really good. <laughs> That's really good. I was not expecting that. Where? It, there's like a like a grit in it for a moment. Yeah. yeah. Is that the word for it? Yep. Cool, yeah. Let's let's let me find a darker one. I'm gonna push it open in front of the camera. They can see how it looks. <clears throat> so this is really red. So we're gonna pull off. Actually, we'll watch. Here's, Here's how it looks. <clears throat> see how it's real juicy. There's the seed. Sure, let's get up there and get those big ones. Mmm. It's real watery. Yeah, man. Oh, here you go. Check this out. There's like a little bit of bitterness near the end. This one's, in the, this one's pretty dark. That one's pretty dark. Try those. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Is the bitterness coming from the skin? or Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. Now, those ones won't be oh, better because wow. they're darker. Look how dark that is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is what Steve was talking about. There'll be no bitterness with that. What do you think of it? Wow. Is that better? Much better. Here, try that one. That one's better. That one's sweeter. So right, right about this color is when you want to eat it. Yep. It's sweeter. It's got a nice texture. There's some more. Now definitely we'll be growing these out. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. Right? Every seed's going in the ground. Oh yeah, man. Here's another one. Thanks. Here's smooth. that. Check out that. Very smooth. Very wow. That one's really dark red. Mm -hmm. The th cool part about this guy is that wow. That one was really sweet. Yeah. That one. Yeah, they get sweeter when they get darker. I just changed my. But like I said, it was the birds. If it weren't for the birds, you can I'd, leave them on there longer. I'd be on there all day and wait till like, you know, a week. Right, but now <laughs> you have get, to. Like, super bright, but then you wouldn't have anything left. <clears throat> you wouldn't. The birds, the birds mm -hmm. like to pick them right, right when they're about to get ready. Or they peck at it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Super tasty, right? They are really good. Well, now you're going to have to grow your own. And if you look along the back fence there, on the bottom, those little ones, those are all groovy. And how old are these, Steve? A couple of years. They grew pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Had them in the Everyone shade, else needs to be growing, growing them. That fast. Mm -hmm. So I put them in the sun, now they're going to grow a lot faster. Yeah, they're going to be probably producing some flowers soon, wouldn't you think? Who's that blue vexator I was telling you about? The big one. Wow. That's, that's the one you gave me. That's not even the big one. Yeah. That one's a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but here's my bigger guy. I had a real big one about this tall. Wow. Now, Left I, for it, Hawaii it and you died. It kills me that it died on you. But I have like 20. You got lucky. So if these you got die, lucky. I got backups again. So. You got lucky that you kept the seeds. This is yes. why you should always keep your seeds. Yeah, exactly. And the cool part about it was it fruited, then died, and then I kept all the seeds. Wow. So I was just in time to collect the seeds. Yeah. Well, wow, this, uh, this is this a yellow groomy chama? Is it yellow now? Well, no, it's just yes, a green. A, that is a yellow groomy. Yep. Wow. We'll we didn't get to see it last time. No, you will if you um, come back another time. You might see some. This guy does not want to fruit very much, and I'm hoping once he matures, he will. I think. Because this so. one didn't, didn't fruit right away, and then all of a sudden it got to like this height, and then it just blew up. Wow. So, this, so this one, Steve. The what do you call this one again? That one's a blue vexator. Blue vexator. Blue vexator, false Java de Cava. So it makes fruits on the tips. Blue grape tree. Brazilian and this, grape. and he gave me one of these to grow yep. out. I'm gonna plant them in they the greenhouse. They grow on the trunk. It's they grow the on the ends of the branches. Always on the ends. So wherever you see leaves is where mm -hmm. you see fruit. 
wherever you see trunk, there's pretty much no Wow. Way and look how it's peel it peels too, like the Chipotacaba. Isn't that amazing? That is beautiful. <laughs> wait till you see it fruit. I can't wait. I think he let me try one when I when yeah, I first went there. Good. But look at that. Yeah, man. So, so they're hiding, right? So look at this. Wow. There they are. So everyone start trying to grow these. Oh, this is. They're, it's going to oh, give you a lot of fruit. This tree does look not die. <laughs> it's really cold hardy too, isn't it? Phenomenally, yeah, phenomenally resilient. It does not. Um, it, it just is. It's it's extremely hardy. Like I've been growing them for years, and these things are they, they're <clears> drought <throat> tolerant. Wow. They're. So it's like a it's a it's, it's a fruit a perfect, tree. You don't have to give a lot of care. Just mulch it. No, feed mulch it once it, a year. Feed it once a year. Um, and make sure you know. Well, I water mine every day, so it's probably why it does so well. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, it's very hardy. It's just, it's, it's I bet you this tree. year, in the next Old few cow. years, it's going to do really well because you, you just put these. mulch down. Bring that camera over here. Check these out. I'll show you these in a second. Look at how dark these are. Wow. You ever just get a go. whole handful? Oh wow! I'm gonna throw the whole thing in my mouth. There you go. So I, the, I these like tips. The I, I pull them all so out. the tops taste kind of weird. The they texture. Weird, I just don't like fuzzies in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Who does? I ever got that one? No, not yet. Wow. So they usually have just like one seed in it. Yep. One big one. I'm gonna save yep. some of these for save um, them all, man. for Marjorie. Yeah, every single one of them. Yeah, I'll come back near the end if we have time. Mm -hmm. I'll pick some more. So grow you out some groomy chama. Is that how you say it? Groomy. Groomy chama. Groomy yep. chama. Grow you out some groomy chama. You got it. Steve approves. And he's gonna have. The season doesn't last too long, <clears throat> um, but then they get another crop later in the year. One. Yeah, so like. So the. Probably a month from now, I'll have more again. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So these will become a nice hedge for him to kind of grow up, and right. then he can have more fruits to pick I'm from. Just gonna fill that out with groomies. Okay. And this is also another groomie. These are yeah, all groomies. We're getting a little. What is that? Chlora, chlorotic? What it was called? Yeah, it's just a it, little, little lack of. He'll find his way. Something. Yeah, I put. I think I put too many grounds on it. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes I give too much love and I hurt the yeah. plant. I, like I said, like so I burned it, right? So right. now it's severely yellow. It'll come back. And it does not die. <laughs> so that's just, what we want to grow is plants that can handle some stress. You don't want stress. something that's finicky, and this is definitely not a finicky plant. And, and these are seedlings from a few years ago? Yes. Yep, you can see the triple phosphate I put on there already. Yep. It's already helping. Mm -hmm. And then Steve talked about last time how when they're young they don't like the sun, but when they right. get older they can handle it. So you yep. see some little burn. You know what? They're burned, but his new leaves are doing. They're doing fine. Used to it. So I think they'll be. Look at all that new growth. <clears throat> see that? Wow. And they're doing fine. Well, so Steve, you got me into want to grow some groomy chama. They're now. phenomenal. You got to grow one. It's just a fantastic tree. Now I finally got to try the fruit. Thanks again. <laughs> Did you get it? Till next time. I'll get some more in a little bit. <laughs> All right.